You guys kept wanting to know what my coaching looks like, so I did some live coaching on my Twitch. I then cut up the Twitch VOD so that you guys can see my coaching in this video. I'm going to keep doing these streams so you guys can keep seeing what my coaching looks like and so that information doesn't become paywalled, but if you want these coaching videos to stay, you got to let me know in the comments. Before we begin, here's a quick message from this video sponsor, FreeCash.com. They've created a $500,000 prize pool that you can win part of just by predicting winners of the World Cup. Just sign up and unlock the event with my referral code, WPFC. Go to the match day section and submit predictions for a winner in each game and match day. There's a leaderboard for how well you did and you can win up to $1,000 every single day. And it's all free to you. On FreeCash.com, you can earn money just by downloading apps, playing games, completing surveys, and more. Just sign up and go to the earn page for offers. I'm going to choose this one. Now I have money and I can choose over 20 cash out methods like PayPal. It's easy to earn on freecash.com. Check it out. First of all, what would you say your goals are? That's um okay, so uh how flicks have been explained to me are you have like a big flick and then the micro adjustment. I feel like I'm really bad at like doing I I guess making myself use my wrist for like the micro adjustments so like i i notice a lot of the time i'll just only be using my arm what sense are you playing on and uh what are you actually playing oh, i don't on? know the i don't know the cm360 it's 1600.175 in valorant yeah all right that's like roughly 47 46 i believe um I got the calculator in my head after doing it so many times. Um, let's see. So you say so you resort to your wrist when you you and you're doing oh, that I in want Valorant, to use right? My wrist more. Yeah. All right. So the thing is, you don't really want to be focusing on which joint you use because you'll probably notice that when you're just not thinking about it and you happen to use your arm it probably goes a lot better than when you start thinking about it and you're like oh i gotta use my wrist now i gotta use my wrist you're trying to like and you just overwhelm yourself and it kind of delays the flick and you end up dying a lot i'm guessing uh that has been an issue i i've like stopped thinking about it in game but like i just okay, like that's good I feel like my micro adjustments are just bad. I don't know. You can definitely work on those, but forcing out motions you're not comfortable with usually isn't a good idea. So what we can definitely work on for you is um trying to figure out like what's going on and just trying to learn to like make your wrist more precise and you're more comfortable aiming with it so that you're more able to use it in game after your flicks. Like have you did you ever, like, at one point commit to only arm aiming or something like that? Yeah, I broke my hand over the summer, so... Okay, yeah, <laughs> that'll like, make... Yes. Okay, yep, yep, that makes sense. Uh, is there any, like, lasting injuries? Like, is your wrist lo low on mobility or something? Uh, I don't think it is. All right, that's good. So, it's probably just some bad habits you just kind of got to work on not really breaking, but kind of just getting around and just taking a new approach to things. So how long have you been playing games for? Uh, I played CSGO for like five-ish years, I okay. think. Okay, nice, nice. came out. CSGO <laughs> for five years. So I don't, Valorant I don't think for like Minecraft counts. Valorant for like I three years? For, yeah, I didn't play for like the first act, but I've been playing for a bit. You know, I coached this guy who played, like, Minecraft really intensely. And then, like, uh, he played Valorant on an Xbox controller only. So then, like, once he switched to MNK, like, he played Minecraft on MNK, though. So, like, when he switched to MNK, he had, like, surprisingly good Kovac scores. His aim itself wasn't that good, but his Kovac scores are weirdly good for how well he aims. That was weird. <laughs> it's, like... It's coordination, I guess. I don't even know what it. I think it's just the Minecraft practice. I mean, punch and trees has to do something for your aim. <laughs> it's the speed crafting. That's what it is. It's like in game, like like actually playing. Yeah. I won't really worry about it. But like, do you think it's fine if I just like force it out during practice? Because like, when I play, if I'm like playing deathmatch, I'm just like forcing myself <laughs> to go for it. You know, I I don't like that approach i much prefer the approach of just because like that kind of just gets you 
kind of reluctant on like depending on like thinking and feeling i kind of prefer the approach of like doing something that kind of forces it out without you having to think about it like maybe you Mm -hmm. play on a really high sense where your arm isn't that useful and you start to like use your wrist maybe you even tape your arm down to your table so that it can't move and then you're forced to use your wrist and then like obviously with the second approach you got to kind of like after a bit of doing that and you're more comfortable with your wrist you got to take the tape off and like get comfortable using them in unison but definitely don't be thinking like flick arm micro adjust the wrist because that just kind of gets you into the habit of just thinking too much trying to put too much control into your aim like if there's something that's better for you your unconscious mind will figure it out and do the better strategy and it might not be perfect wrist micro adjustments and arm big flicks right now the reason that you're not using your wrist is because you haven't used it in so long that your aim kind of developed that way but because your wrist was broken so you couldn't use it but now that it's okay like it's just you just kind of got to change that you kind of get it like because it'll still be hard to use your wrist the first couple days like even if you could perfectly use it without thinking about it you probably wouldn't do as well because your wrist won't be as precise because you weren't able to use it for many months right Mm -hmm. and like were you even big on using it before you broke it not really yeah so like i mean if you never really practiced it much and you have like eight years of experience training your arm then yeah you'll be much better with arm motions than wrist motions right so it'll be like a lot more arm motions in the micro adjustments until you can get your wrist precision up yeah i was just like i want to work on what i'm bad at so it's wrist. yeah yeah exactly you work on it and that's like will make you better but you do that by um like kind of giving something where the wrist is optimal instead of trying to like put too much thought into your aim Mm-hmm. like really high sense or even if really high sense doesn't work for you just tape your mouse pad down and i'm looking at your wrist it seems like there definitely is some amounts of wrist motion just a lot more when you're just a lot when you're walking around like tracking an angle like here if you replay yeah, the don't vod, use like, it to, like five seconds them, back though. yeah that's fair that's fair i'm just it's yeah watch right there watch when you yeah. were peeking that angle you kind of had some wrist motion so it's not like it doesn't exist in your aim it, there from oh, every now and then it's laggy play while you're not thinking about the aim all right just okay tell me about like something it doesn't really matter too much what we talk about just don't want you focus on this so do you like actually know that like west proto simp guy because i've like run into him in deathmatch <laughs> i've seen that guy on the valorant tracker a couple times i don't actually know who he is or like anything about him but i i respect the hustle and he's a true fan because he's got the same hashtag as I have in my Bardo's Simp account. So are you still forcing out the wrist motions? Uh, to a lesser degree, I think. All right. It's kind of hard to think about that when I'm talking. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the point of doing it. I kind of want you to stop, like, try to force things to happen so I can really just see what your aim is when you're just doing it without thinking about it. I, right. I know one of my big issues is I, like, overthink things way too way too often yeah that's one of the things i've found the more i aim train the more i find that the hardest thing to control is your own mind i'm starting to think and i don't want to give you too much information since you're an overthinker but i'm going to tell you anyways Uh i i feel like you actually do use your wrist a decent amount of the time right it's hard to Uh stay focused on coaching the entire time while also distracting you from thinking you know it's kind of a two-way street but it definitely does look like when i'm able to focus and check on it i definitely see a decent amount of wrist motion it seems Mm -hmm. like you might not use it a ton or there might be flicks where you notice you don't use your wrist and you overthink about those but i think in reality if you were to just during some of your practice sessions bump your sense up maybe to like somewhere between 20 maybe four maybe somewhere between 15 and 35 centimeters right now you're at 46.6 right so just Mm -hmm. like any number between 15 and 435 just for various practice sessions and like not the same number every day like play around with them you'd probably notice a lot more wrist motions in your aim because like when you're on 15 centimeters it becomes very hard to make very small motions with your arm right Mm -hmm. so i think that'll be definitely a main focus of your routine so uh, let's actually test that. Let's go to 22 centimeters right now. You can just hit settings and then the gear and then just type in the number 22. All right. And let's save this and let's play again and just keep talking like about things in life. And let's 
Oh god. <laughs> Just Yeah, it's double your old sense, so it's not the easiest sense. Just keep talking uh, to me. Why'd you start doing YouTube? Honestly, I, I did some aim lab runs and I was like, hmm, I genuinely believe I have the worst aim in the world. I want to figure out why and how to get it better. That's pretty good. <laughs> So, you definitely did, you probably noticed this because you overthink, but you definitely increase your amount of wrist motion as sense goes up, as pretty much everyone does, right? Yeah. Which, <laughs> I'd say, is definitely a good thing, because you can kind of use this higher sense to, like, become more comfortable with that. So then when you go back I'll be able to make a lot more videos in this format if you guys want. This was only a coaching session. Be sure to comment if you like this kind of content so I know if I should keep doing it. Thanks for watching.